Gilligan's episodes, Cranston played a neo-Nazi who had to drive at a high rate of speed to keep his head from exploding. It was this role that made Cranston the main character of Breaking Bad. Gilligan felt that he could humanize the negative character. Vince Gilligan specially invited actors to the series, including Brian Cranston, who were known mainly for their comedic roles. According to him, if an actor can play in comedy, he can also play in drama, but the reverse is not always true. By the way, Cranston, Anna Gunn, and Bob Odenkirk took part in the comedy series Seinfeld, which ran on American TV for nine years. Marius Stan, who played the owner of the car wash where Walter worked at the beginning of the series, is a real scientist chemist. He is still doing science to this day, and participation in the series Breaking Bad was his screen debut. While writing the script, the creators of the series had a dispute about whether Walter White should kill Jesse's friend Jane. Vince Gilligan thought that he should shoot her. Someone said that Walt should turn her over so that she would certainly choke while vomiting, and others argued that you cannot make Cranston's character her killer. In the end, Gilligan agreed that the time to turn White into a monster was not yet ripe. However, what he had done could also be called murder. As you know, there are only six episodes in the first season. According to the creator's plan, they were supposed to be 13, but because of the strike of the scriptwriters, had to reduce the number of episodes by half. Later, Vince Gilligan said that it was thanks to this that the transformation of Walter White from a kind and calm man into a ruthless monster began to happen gradually. According to the original plan, the hero Cranston already by the end of the first season had to show his true face. The famous hat, which became an integral part of Heisenberg's character, was primarily intended to protect Brian Cranston's shaved head from the sun's scorching rays. The chemist Heisenberg, whose surname Walter White takes as an alias, was not the only one who donated his name for the hero of the series. Hank's last name, Schrader, was borrowed from the chemist Gerhard Schrader, who accidentally discovered nerve gas in 1934 and was involved in the development of one of the most toxic poisons, sarin. In one episode of the last season, Saul Goodman suggests Walter send Hank to Belize, a state in South America, itself implying a physical reprisal against him. After the series came out, the Ministry of Tourism of Belize sent an invitation, which offered the crew to spend a weekend in their country for free, so they wanted to demonstrate that traveling to Belize is not as terrible as the creators of the series think. According to the idea of the creator of the series Vince Gilligan, Walter White by the end of the show was supposed to become a kind of Tony Montana, the hero Al Pacino from the movie Scarface, which in fact is exactly what happened. In 2013, Anna Gunn, who played the role of Skylar White, published an article in the New York Times complaining about the injustice. Although it was Walter who committed the atrocities on the show, it was her character who received the brunt of the hatred from fans of the series, just as Carmela Soprano, Tony Soprano's wife from The Sopranos, once did. As a young man, Brian Cranston was wanted for some time because of suspicion of murder. The boss of the restaurant where he worked was murdered, and coincidentally Cranston, along with his brother, went on an unplanned motorcycle trip at the same time. The sudden disappearance of the future actor seemed strange to the police, and he was briefly listed as a suspect. Warren Buffett, a famous American billionaire and philanthropist, once said that Walter White is a great businessman whom he would love to hire. Actress Julia Mineski, who played the drug-addicted prostitute Wendy, is actually seriously involved in sports. She has repeatedly participated in marathons and in one of the toughest challenges in the world, the Ironman Triathlon. Fans of the series have noticed that as soon as one of the main characters dies, he is immediately replaced by another. We meet Gus Fring immediately after Combo's death, and Mike's first appearance was in the episode following the one in which Jane dies. Lydia becomes one of the key characters after Fring's death, and finally, Mike's death brings Jack Welker to the forefront. Almost all of the main characters wear clothes of one particular color most of the time. Walter is dressed in green because that is the color one gets when you put together the yellow, which along with red is often worn by Jesse and the blue characteristic of Skylar. It reflects his tossing between his past life and his new one. Hank, who opposes Walter, prefers orange, a color that is on the opposite side of the color wheel to green. 
Marie is represented by purple, a color that lies between Skylar's blue hues and Hank's red-orange. As Brian Cranston's character develops, the color of his clothes gradually changes to black, and in the final season, he often wears things in that color. Interestingly, in the final episodes, Marie also wears black as a sign of mourning for Hank. During his criminal career, Walter White earned $1.80 million. By the way, if you type in the Navigator coordinates, which in the series point to a place in the desert, where Walter buried barrels of money, they will lead to the shooting studio in Albuquerque. This was done so that people who watched the series would not go to the desert to look for the treasure and die there. Methylamine, which Walter and his colleagues stopped a freight train to steal, is actually not difficult to produce. Chemists believe that it can be made even in your own kitchen. The latest episode of Breaking Bad is called Felina. It is not only an anagram of the word finale and the name of the song that sounds in the episode, but also an abbreviation of the elements. Iron, lithium, and sodium, which can be deciphered as blood, meth, and tears. Speaking of Game of Thrones, George R. R. Martin, who directed the series, wrote in his blog that there is no villain in all of Westeros more terrible than Walter White.